I was standing in the lobby one day and I was standing next to Joe Bita. I said, oh, you created Kubernetes and he was very humble about it. Let me give you a cue. All right. And I said, well, let me tell you all the things I don't like about it. Being a good citizen in open source is really about building relationships and you know working with other folks to find those positive sum situations where everybody wins. And that's not done with a transactional give and get, but really about making sure that everybody knows that you're in it for the long haul and that this project is really something that you're committed to. So I've been involved in open source for 25 years. In the mid 90s, I decided this was the way that software was going to be written in the future. It's a faster, it's more innovative in aggregate. And there's, there's just this momentum there that is unavoidable and it was gonna take over eventually. The community always plays a, a, a role on the project that I'm working on because we are a project that actively listens and seeks to understand what the community needs. So thinking about the Kubernetes community, what always stood out to me was how friendly and professional people were. It was a space where I felt really comfortable contributing to the overall technical project um, and bringing kind of what I could bring to the project. With diverse teams, you're able to do so much more better than what you could possibly do otherwise. And community, like the Kubernetes community, really exemplifies that. If you look at it from the outside, it might not look like it works, or it might look like it's chaotic, but the best part is that the chaos is needed because the project is so big, it's not just for one type of person, one type of company, one type of problem. What I've really enjoyed about working on it is being able to work with so many different really smart people who are solving similar hard problems. So that's what's really powerful, um, is just being able to solve a problem once as a team instead of every different company solving it differently for themselves. Open source is something that transcends the individual. You're working as a team and through teamwork you get at 10x engineering. It's not 10x engineer, it's we more than me. Teamwork gives you 10x engineering, 100x engineering, in aggregate, you can go places so much faster. Well, between Kubernetes and open source, there's a lot going on there. And I think the full breadth of open source at VMware goes far beyond just Kubernetes. But zooming in on Kubernetes, I, I think we're operating at multiple different levels. We really, through Tanzu, want to make sure that we make it super easy for our customers to start using Kubernetes, see value right away, but we're not interested in closing them off from the rest of the ecosystem, but really being a doorway to the larger cloud-native ecosystem.